Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another installment of me winning games in Civilization Revolution. As always, we're going to be playing on Deity Difficulty. And we're going to use the Greeks. Uh, I haven't gotten any requests as of late, so I'm just choosing ones that I think would be interesting or challenging. The Greek, the Greeks are actually pretty challenging just because they start with democracy, and I actually used to get pretty frustrated using the Greeks just because I liked being so aggressive early and I didn't like being in democracy, so actually what I started doing is I would try to get out of democracy as soon as possible. Uh, lately my strategy is to uh, basically race for a uh, code of laws and once I get that or at the first instance that I want to declare war on anybody I will switch to republic or sometimes I will switch to despotism even before I get republic so and then from there I just sort of play them just like anyone else um, even though I don't stick with democracy early I do take advantage of the fact that they have nice defensive units right at the start as applicable and they also start with a courthouse which uh, it's important to take advantage of in fact that's always why I recommend moving diagonally if possible one tile because that usually means you'll open up one special tile um, sometimes it's worth even moving two uh, one or like three tiles away something like that and the Greeks are one of the uh, one of one of the civilizations you can actually make a make the capital landlocked if you really want to. They don't have to have access to the water. The Egyptians are like that too because they have uh, they can get trade from desert tiles. Uh, the additional bonuses they have are the more great people bonus. It's actually strange because that works against democracy in most cases because the the capital of a democracy doesn't even get any culture, so it's hard to get culture points at first. So it's kind of a strange contrast, and it's one of the reasons the Greeks are just kind of kind of strange. Uh, the industrial bonus is very nice, and so is the modern bonus, half cost library and plus one food from sea regions. Those are both nice. The food ones really kind of weird because at that stage of the game people aren't really focusing on growing their cities anyway but um, it's better than nothing uh, half cost library and more great people are probably the best bonuses they have uh, so let's see what happens not really focused on any particular kind of victory in the back of my mind I was kind of thinking about doing a cultural victory, but I'm not a big fan of favoring one victory over another at the start, just because that tends to, I mean, if, what if you get things that aren't really working in your favor for that kind of victory, you can end up fighting an uphill battle for that reason. Um, looks like I'm in a corner, sometimes these corners, it looks like a pretty yeah, that's a corner. It might be smart to go this way. I would still have access to trees and grass. Um, if I go up here, I'll actually lose access to that tree, so i got to be careful. Uh, I could go over one more. Tough call. I don't know what's over there. And this part's safe, so... I don't see any special tile that I gained from that, which is kind of annoying. It's 
Let's go check it out. Looks like I have a whale standing from here. Cool. Key thing about planning right next to a barbarian hut like this, you get a free little militia guy to explore with. So now I can run around. Also, let's make a warrior. Your days are numbered, Brunor. Oh man, the Egyptians are right there. Possibly. Will not be easy though, that's for sure. Since I lost two warriors, that kind of slows me down. Might be able to time it just right though. Realized that game right next to me. Uh, gonna send my warriors up here. Let's see what happens if I run over here. Aha! Uh -huh. There's nobody in the city. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Already I need to change my government. So it's kind of a joke. And this is why you make warriors early. I mean, that's... Actually, there was a lot of strategy involved in that, believe it or not. Uh, if you might have noticed the turn before, I actually wandered into this tree diagonally over here. And I was kind of fortunate to avoid the tiles that they were working. Let's... Grow this city to three, first of all. Uh, actually exploring is more important, so... Get some science. In fact, I'm gonna send my warriors that away. Man, I got a lot of directions to cover here. Where is the South Pole? Not too far down here. I doubt anyone's down south for me. So maybe I can just to focus on West, go west, young man. Oh, that was a good guess. Let's rush this guy out 
and that way we can focus on science. You might notice I don't have much food here. That'll change in time. I got one here, and one by this river will turn into two food once I get irrigation. Big plus one food, baby. Um, so let's put this over, get some horses. I hope those huts don't attack my warriors. Um, let's go back to democracy, even though, or should I? It could be a bad idea. Let's try it, even though that was pretty silly. Getting 18 per turn already, that's good. I wonder what the Egyptians were looking for over here. Maybe this militia guy can find something good over here. Getting 12 signs from the city because of the Colossus. Totally awesome. Uh, let's do something more useful instead of that. Get started on the horse. Oh. Actually, probably worth keeping it there. Wow, there are a lot of barbarian huts up here. I'd hate to take this off. Just because the Colossus is too important to take advantage of. So I might just start making horsemen from here. That science is worth way more than whatever my uh. actually, this would be faster than using trees. So let's do that. I'll rush that first horse out and just so I can get some units up here. Still exploring. Nailing all these named tiles, that's nice. This horse is going to be pretty beefy after hitting all these cuts. Hopefully the computer doesn't beat me to them. Uh, let's go this way. Oh! Scoring a lot of huts. Wow, another hut. Kind of ridiculous.
gonna keep this going until I get a hundred gold and then swap it back over to science. Just so you know, having this on um, gold is actually equivalent to six hammers worth of production in the ancient era. So that's like having six trees at work right now. Pretty crazy. So let's keep that going. First horse is the most important, so let's start taking... Oop. presents fly out of this thing. Four. That's good. Might as well have a lookout over there. Lost a horse, but this is a guaranteed victory anyway. Once I get blitz, it'll be a lot easier to start taking all of these down. Let's take a peek up here. I'm actually going to send that horse to get that real quick. Two, four, six, eight barbarian huts. Pretty crazy. scope out these corners with my caravan. Look for fish. Sometimes you can lure barbarians out just by standing spies out there and just dangle them out there. Come on! Being incompetent. You're so fired. Gotta start taking out these huts. Gonna score a lot of good stuff out of them. Can't believe I haven't bumped into anyone else at this point. to heal again. This is just some bad luck. Keep getting whittled down. It's a lot of healing, but at least I'm actually getting control of them. Amazing I didn't lose a horse. It's incredible. Oh, that was an accident, actually. Uh, and we might 
get another settler. Yep. Thank God, hit a dead end finally. Now to find a good spot to expand to. I'm tempted to expand this direction. I do see fishies and a tree, which is good enough for me. I'd really, well, let's just send them this way and hope for the best. Fantastic. Got a free boat. And the Mongols are to the north. Looks like Kabul. Uh, but I might be finished going this way. Let's put this back on science. this time, 30 gold pieces, and wow, the Americans are over here. It looks like they're on an island. Yeah, I had a feeling that was a name tile. Oh, I think they're over here. This is a good spot for an expansion city right here. Two science and I can get that mar access to that marble too. That'll be good. Might be wise to spread it out a bit though. Yeah, let's do that. What a jerk. Killed my horse. Big rumors of holy cow. like a dead end more or less so it'll actually help and the Aztecs are the final contestants today
I don't know where the heck they're situated, but it's over there somewhere. I'd like to determine what's south of me. Obviously a mountain. And we got a lot of gold at this point. So let's keep it rolling. Let's get writing out of the way. Let's move up here. That way. Let's call it roots. Oh, I got a whale too, so that was a good idea. Let's move down here and see what we can do if we can harass our friends, the Americans. This is the, I believe, the last turn that I get victories are guaranteed, so I better hurry up. Whoa, 40 gold. Racking it up. Finally, my third horse, so let's move this over. To science. We'll get writing in two turns. It's accelerated quite a bit. Oh. Looks like we got a little bay over here. Good old Talaxcala. I gotta send this guy over to the Americans immediately. it assures that I get that. There's four artifacts out there, so it might be worth it in the end. And... What's going on here? It's three culture per turn. Not too bad. Alright, finally a dead end. Fantastic. Found an igloo. way can I go to get something worth finding? Well, I know that's up there, so... I 
Maybe I should head up there. Could also be something good over here, but... Tough to say. to break the 250 gold limit, but it's a bit unavoidable at this point. Actually, I shouldn't get it yet. I should wait until I hit this 5 technology mark next turn. I'll get more gold out of it. So now I'm getting more great people, and I got a free spy. Last but not least, let's get Code of Laws. I'm actually going to make this the end of Section 1, guys, so follow, the, follow the, our saga to Part 2, and we'll see what happens in the medieval era.